It's funny what you remember from your childhood. In fifth grade, when we were first being taught how to be confused by math, they asked us to quantify in numbers how much of our lives we would spend sleeping. The answer turns out to be about 25 years, assuming of course you don't get killed in a blimp accident during college. Now I'm pretty sure the point of this exercise was to scare us out of being lazy, but honestly the raw data didn't bother me. When I'm sleeping, I'm either A, successfully defeating a seismosaurus in combat, B, riding a giant dandelion across the ocean, or C, addressing Congress from a bluff overlooking the Grand Canyon, all three of which I will admit I enjoy even if they make no sense. But then there's the other stuff. The stuff that isn't as fun as dropping truth bombs on Washington. And that's what I call the scary math. Example, it takes about 23 seconds to tie my shoes, and I usually tie or retie my shoes at least four times a day. That means 23 times four per day times 350 days per year. Note, I take my vacations and sandals times 80 years, and what? I'm going to spend 29.814 days of my life tying my shoes? That's a month! And I didn't even factor in the airport security variable. There are endless ways to do this. Brushing my teeth takes 4 minutes. And I know I'm weird about brushing my teeth, but that's 162 days! Driving to work? 30 minutes. And sometimes a lot more if the joker behind you decides to update Facebook. Either way, a full year and a half. Okay, so if I just give up tying my shoes, brushing my teeth, and driving to work, I'll immediately unleash two years of free time. Deal. Attention world, if you need to reach me, I'll be the guy on Hawaii's big island with no job, no shoes, and no teeth. Oh, who am I kidding? I'd rather lose a fight with a dinosaur than stop using toothpaste. Besides, it's not like we can realistically escape this stuff. It's not like there's some magical floating gondola that will just carry us to Hawaii. Oh hey, unexpected bonus, I just figured out what that dandelion dream is about. 